Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining this problem. Um, well, the problem statement is actually saying that you are going to be given a binary tree. And um, a, a, a binary tree and each and every node will contain some sort of directions. And um, someone is going to start from the root node and he would uh, the, the goal would be to reach the leaf nodes but in such a way that you have to change the directions as minimum as possible so that's the overall statement actually that they're trying to make us understand um, so each and every node here as you can see if I give an example each and every node would have three types of directions L meaning left R meaning right and up meaning up so um, you meaning up so um, uh, if I do take an example the user would all uh, would start its journey from node number one which is in, which is going to be considered here as the root node and from here as you can see what is the node mentioning it's mentioning that I can go to the left so if I do go to the left I come up in this uh, in this node and it's saying that I can go to the right from downwards um, so but if, if I look in the right side there are no nodes so I cannot move anywhere else so this pathway does not lead me to the final destination or should I say the leaf node so that's exactly why they have given us a choice a choice to change the directions on uh, on the node that I want to make uh, if, if I want to make I can actually change the direction so I can change this R to um, L uh, if I do want to move forward from uh, for uh, forward and move to the elite node so I could do and change one operation here I could I could make it as left and I move in here similarly as you can see from the right words, I'm not actually in the leaf node if I go to the right from here. So I, I, I would have to change another, I would have to perform another operations, which is uh, changing this node's direction to, to left, or should I say L. Only then I would be able to find one of the possible leaf nodes. But as you can see, that is resulting as a cost of two direction changes. My final answer would be if I can find a pathway which resulting which would be resulting the minimum possible value of this meaning the changing of the direction is there any possible way uh, which is minimum than two well there is how is that if I do turn this L to R if I do change this L to R what would happen is I move to here and when I move to here uh, I've already made one changes of direction but from here as you can see this node is mentioning that I can go to the left I'm only allowed to go to the left okay if I do move to the left I move into the one of the possible leaf nodes and it is taking minimum possible minimum than two of course so one direction changes that I needed as you can see what I generally would have to find out is find out all the possible uh, leaf nodes that I can travel to and try to figure out what sort of directions change that it took for each and every leaf nodes and then find out the minimum one so that's exactly what what I would have to do I have to figure out all the possible direction changes in one go and figure out which leaf node is actually providing me the minimum possible cost or should I say the minimum possible direction change now how can I uh, approach this uh, problem well uh, for this for the solution I have utilized uh, a BFS solution um, utilizing red first search and as you can see the complexity will not allow us to go for a brute force approach we would have to go through well, and figure out all the possible direction changes for each and every leaf node in one go and the best way to do that and for for the for for the purpose of doing that, I utilize the breadth first search. And if I find move, uh, now what would be the solution? 
Well, the solution would be something like this. I will start from the root node and I will perform breadth first search. And I will also consider this tree that they're given as a directed tree. And I would also consider, I would not consider the, uh, okay, let's, uh, we'll talk about that later. But um, what they're saying, uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the root node. And for the root node, I will keep track of a, of a my, uh, as you know that in breadth first search, we do utilize a data structure called Q, but I will take pair Q, which will contain the node itself. And the the point or the direction changes that that it took for me so far to come here so initially for the first node it would be zero one comma zero which is i'm in the first node and the point or should i say the direction change would be zero up until now now what happens in bfs we traverse all the possible adjacency nodes and that's exactly what we're going to do and if we look at the uh, do two possible adjacency nodes. What are we going to do? We will check what is the current node, current state node's direction. Well, I can see that it's left. So if I go left, I won't have to make any sort of direction. If I go, but if I want to go right, I will have to make a, a direction change. So what I will do is when I move to this node, my changeable outcome would be 5, 0 because it's already left, I can go to the left. But to go right, I have to change this direction to R, meaning when I move here, it will be 2, comma 1. That 2, comma, that 1 coming in from the previous value plus 1. And these values are going to be injected inside the queue that I'm working on to perform the BFS um, operation. And that's exactly how I, I will try to tra traverse. So let's let's jump again. Now for this from this node, what, what can I do? What are the possible solutions that I can have? I can go to the right. But if I do move to the right, I know that there won't be any sort of nodes available, so it's worthless um, going to the right. But if I do go to the left, I have a node. But in order to go there, I have to increase a point. I have to change the direction from right to left. So when I do that, and I move here, it will be 4, comma 1. And similarly, when I move from here to 1, if I do move to the left, I won't, I won't have to add another point. So it's going to be 3, 1, because it's already saying that I can go to the left. If I move to the right, I'm going to have to change this direction from left to right, so it's going to be 6, 2. Now, notice that we have already reached two of these leaf nodes. One is giving me the final destination, uh, the directional change point of one, and the other one is providing me two. And after that, let's just move here. Okay, from here, I can go to the, can I go to the right? Okay, there's no node here. I can only go to the left, but in order to go to the left, I have to change the direction because the, the node currently that I am in is is uh, saying that I can only go to the right, so I have to make the direction change, and in order to do that, if I do that, I have to increase this value from 1 to 2, so it's going to be 7, 2. Now, imagine all of these leaf nodes. I'm going to have to output the minimum possible direction change, so out of all of these leaf nodes, I will check out what is the minimum. As you would notice, the minimum is this point, 3, 1. 3 would be my leaf node, and this is going to be my answer. My answer would be 1. So, I, so if I do move efficiently, it would take minimum one possible direction change if I, uh, to reach the final destination or one of the leaf nodes in the binary tree. So that would be the whole solution. And if I do take a look at the code section, you would I would have some level of understanding what is happening here. As you can see, we're taking the input, we're taking the edges, and there you go. I am calling the BFS moving in. This is the peer queue that I've talked about. Uh, we're keeping track of the current node and the uh, the possible points that I've got up until th that note.
or should I say the direction changes possible points. Now this is the typical BFS what happens in the BFS section and you see this part right there is doing is checking the left child and the right child and uh, we don't actually need to know about whether that direction uh, we're, we're only going to check whether it's equal to left or right and based on that we can come up with the assumption if it's you or uh, if, if if some of the nodes would have been you know you as you can see like that then i would go either of the child and just um add the points because you won't be any help for either of the nodes so um basically whatever the condition is i will just go with it and do my work this is like for the for the left child this is right for the li right child node and depending on that uh, if it's not right then i'm gonna add point if it's right then i won't add point similarly to the left and then finally if i do get uh, you see this part right there is actually tracking whether i am currently in the leaf node or not if i am then i will try to track down um, the or, or what is the um, possible changes up until now because that's what i care about and uh, out of all the possible leaf nodes um, what, what what could be my possible answer that would be my best possible answer and so that's going to be that, that that is something that i will return here and that's it and after that that is uh, that is how i solve the problem yeah thank you very much for listening and